New York International Bridal Week, Bridal Shoes TV spoke with couture wedding gown designer Peter Langner. Peter Langner is an accomplished designer who has worked all around the world, most notably in Italy. Peter showed us some of his gorgeous wedding dresses and shared which bridal shoes he would pair with each design. In the end, as a detail, it is really not that bad because you do have it here in the middle of the flower as well. So therefore, I think it is very, very tall, it's very big, so maybe I would see something more delicate. Because I always think that when you you have a short dress, obviously you want the shoe becomes much more important. Right. It's, it's a real, yes, it's going to be seen all the time, it's a real accent. Where a long dress is different. But I think that's wrong, you know, you're, you're going here with this, obviously the right color has to match, that's really the color right job. This is why it's going to be a great time to show you. We have the low heel surprise, multiple high heels, with a short dress, and a bride wears such a low heel, and we have the beautiful high heels, which are the most important. I would definitely go for a higher heel, okay. if there's the choice. If there's, I would definitely go. Because I think it just looks cuter. If you choose a short style, you have to go the whole way. As well, you know, you're going with something more funky, a little more fun, and that one definitely a higher heel. This shoe, I think it's just a little bit too, I mean, I do like the importance of it, I mean, the, the clutch, the, the, you know, the sparkle, but in the end, yeah. you're going to, I have the impression a little bit, you're going just to look always at the shoe. It's a little bit too much for what I would say. So you don't want to have in the end, I really normally focus on the waist up because that's what I want to see. I want to see a beautiful face, a beautiful smile. And if I'm all the time, everybody's looking down at my feet, you know, it's like, no, it's me as well. That, that's a little bit my impression I'm getting. Here we have this shoe to actually fit your collection. Mm -hmm. This is very short dress. It's a very elegant, a very elegant shoe, a little bit more discreet. So it really depends on how you want to style it. Other jewelry, something. If, for example, you have more wood jewelry with this kind of dress, then this could be a good option. Otherwise, you can have a little bit of an accent as well, crystals on, on the shoe. So it really depends everything out. So you really have to see what are the other options. Next dress, very simple. But yes, you know, it is very, you know, obviously here you have a very dramatic dress. So it's like, it's a very, as well, very particular back. So, you know, which right now we don't see. But you can very well wear this, but you're going obviously here very safe. So if you do have something that has maybe a little bit more accent, then you can definitely take it off. Here we have a shoe that has lace, a little bit of beading. What do you think about the shoe that's dressed? You just use your friend's shoes. <laughs> that's what I get. I get the impression. You just use the shoe you had. But it really has nothing to do with it. It doesn't sell anything about the story. What do you think of this feminine shoe? Both colors. Nothing like that on the dress. Is it just too mismatched? The thing is that keep in mind that if you have your, your, your shoe with a very high detail, whenever you step forward, that always will interfere with your hand line. So just make sure that that is not going to be a problem, that whenever you walk, that up to your eye, have the impression that you trip into your shoe, or that there's something bothering you. you know. Blush gown, blush is so cute right now. Here we have this wedge that has a bow to tell the black from this Irish shape. That's actually very good. Now, the, the gown is actually white with the blush over it. So, if you want to have this, it definitely should be ivory with blush over it. So, then again, the ivory doesn't match the same. But, you know, I think it's a very good shoe, it's a great shoe. But as well, make sure that it is not too strong. It has not too strong. We have this metallic shoe that's actually have a black one. The only thing is, just make sure again you have clutch. Make sure that the clutch doesn't rip your tool. You have a very delicate material that can catch, catch up on the, on the crystal. If you, when you put your hands over it, just try it with the tool by itself a little bit and see if it yeah, does catch up. Test it out. Exactly. Okay, so we just have a basic tip toe on. Um, 
Great, very good. I love that. I love that metallic feeling here. It's um, the only thing for this one. If you have blush, it goes more to the warmer tones. So it definitely has to go more to the gold and instead of the silver tones. Thank you so much for talking with us today about coordinating bridal outfits and showing us your gorgeous gowns. I'm Ali from Bridal Shoes TV. For more videos about bridal shoes, visit bridalshoes.tv.